PowerPoint open. Welcome to part two. It's a bit of birthday. birthday. Oh, yeah, so Stop obviously in me. the last part we had a nasty, nasty argument. Um, things were said when we went down that back alley. Things were said. It that's, is shady. How is that shady? That's like the opposite of shady. It's that's like, it's like how Andrew Lloyd Webber wrote songs in musicals for his wife. But I'm really hungry. The different the expositionary dialogue. Exactly. It was written. It, the main part was Anthony Ramos. When we went down that back alley, things were said, but we we kissed him. We, we made up. We made up. Things were said. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Give him a PG. <laughs> we'll, we'll edit in. Oh man, over oh, that. <laughs> Can we just. Oh, oh man. man. So, what is up, gamers? We're here talking about Theatre Thursday. <laughs> wow, that, that hurt my tongue. <laughs> yeah, Theatre Thursday is back at it. All we've done songs and shows. Yeah. So like, um, it's again, it's like, what time is it? I don't so know what time it is. It's 11, 10. 10 past 11 at night. Okay, so, overdone songs and shows. I'm going to go first because age before beauty. Wait, <laughs> you're old. Um, overdone songs and shows. Uh, Seasons of Love. Nicest Kids in Town. Uh... Else. On my own, it's like going into an going into an audition and singing on my own. It's just something you don't do because on my own is a song that's not overdone in shows, but overdone in auditions. Okay. Do you do you agree? Yeah. Because I've seen it done like once in a show that wasn't actually famous, like in yeah. one cabaret ever. Actually, I think this is. I'm gonna go out. This is like a, gonna go out on a limb and say that she used to be mine. Is um, this generation's on my own? Audition wise, at least. Audition wise, no one can. Waitress, I love you. I'm sorry, but it's it's true. Um, okay. Shows, overdone shows. Grease. 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 Just and why? Grease. The film's good enough. All right. I do love um, the film. I do. No, I'm not saying I don't like it. Yeah. I'm just saying I, I it's like overdone. Grease. I like it, it's, it's just, just overdone. overdone. Okay. Overdone songs and shows. Why turn to the cat? Am I? Am I on the camera? No, I'm here. I'm talking to the camera. I'm addressing the audience. There's more people there than those there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we have another bamboos at the moment, are we? <laughs> bum bum bum. <laughs> so yeah, um, overdone songs. Um, 90% of lame is. Yeah. Like, the problem isn't lame is, the problem is People. the songs. Because it's easy. It's like, not even that it's easy, because like, One Day More is not an easy song to pull off. Only if you're an amateur. Not an easy song to do well. Not an easy song to do well. There we go. It's an easy song to do, but not an easy song to do well. Um, like, the problem is that there's a lot of poorly done lame is floating around. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, yeah. Like, why are you have you seen? If, have it? you seen the? I'm sorry to interrupt, but have you seen the performance of um, One Day More, where the guy that's playing Marius sounds like um, Rod from Iron Cube? Like, I did not live until today. It's it's so bad. I've not seen that. It's like illegal heathers, but oh my god, <coughs> illegal heathers. Illegal heathers. We don't talk about illegal heathers, so oh, get on all fours. That's <laughs> right, get on all fours. Oh I have nightmares about that show. <laughs> it's a beautiful friggin' it's day. Beautiful. Uh, I agree about Greece. Also, um, I wanted to say Bugsy Malone, but that's not what I was thinking of. Guys and Dolls. No, um, it's because it's not a, it's not a musical. It's a stage show. But um, when did the Willows is so overdone? Oh yeah, I know somebody did that recently. Actually, I did it like last year, the year before, maybe. Is that the one like I was Mr. Toad and stuff? It. Yeah, I was the badger in it. See, the only reason I know that is because of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, which yeah. is a Disney ride. Quite 
have done, but that's obviously a stage show. Like, a lot of musicals now, like, I would say also, Hamilton's very overdone, but it's only overdone in terms of individual songs because no one can get the yeah. rights to it. Like, no one can do the show, but the individual songs... No one can get... say the show because of how expensive it is. <laughs> Even I've seen it twice. And I've seen it zero. Zero, a whole just, zero just times. Just putting that out there. Um, right. Yeah, so <laughs> Grease. Yeah, Grease. Um, it's hard for me to pick a show that's overdone other than Grease because, like, there isn't really yeah. many. Like, um... A lot of the ones that I, I would say are overdone aren't really. It's just because I know a lot of people that have done them. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. A lot of stuff from Hamilton gets overdone. It's basically an overdone show at this point because every song that people can get the rights to, they've done. Yeah. So, yeah. Stage mistakes. This one's fun. <sighs> Here's one first. Fun one. Okay. Um, so, I'm just going to do the biggest stage mistake that we've that I've like ever been a part of which was um, when the wheel on the wagon you know, in the cart crash in Les Mis where the cart like knocks over I couldn't I, yeah anyway when that happened basically we had this this small girl who was like really skinny playing that character just like because it was easier to sort of have her lay underneath it because it meant that we had, it was like she could comfortably lay underneath it without it even touching her mm -hmm. um one of the wheels came off the off of the cart as the cart was about to be like stopped above her and basically it crumpled like that so it went sideways um it went sideways in the most colossal way to quote to to quote deadpool um but yeah basically it like it wouldn't have squished her because it wasn't heavy but should have been severely have, severely maimed it would have hurt it would have left like um, a bruise, probably. Um, yeah, and I, I couldn't lift the car off of her because the handles were, like, awkwardly sort of attached to the car. Yeah. So if I tried to lift it by the handles, it was, like, going to pull the handles off of the thing. But if I tried to lift it by the body of it, like, it wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to hold the handle on one side and the body of it on the other side, and it was all just a big kerfuffle. Big old pile of... So when we took it away, we had to have um, an extra person help me carry it off because we needed someone to grab the other side of it so we could hold it off of its wheels. And yeah, yeah, it was a bit of a, bit of a bit of, it was an experience to say the least. I don't you just love when people nearly die during a performance? It's great. Yeah, it could be worse. It could be could be missing a table. Hmm. For a song, for like a solid couple of minutes, we have to like improvise, mm. improvise, and find another table. Do you want to talk about that, Ryan? Yeah, I bet that wasn't the one you were going to go for. No, it wasn't. It's, it's what you've been. Yeah. What Jack is talking about is during a performance. What was it? What was it? Jenna was singing. I'm breaking down. I'm breaking from falsettos. down some falsettos. Um, she had two tables. Expositionary dialogue. <laughs> Uh, with different things in eight, there was an iron on one, there was a knife on the other, um, and a knife. Can we cut the pop culture references because I don't need that? At Ten quarter past eleven at night. It's not what I need. Um, so basically, there was two tables, um, and I was using one on front of house, so people to put tickets and stuff on and programs, and I forgot to bring the table backstage. So Jenna's about to go on and go do my breaking down and, and there's only one table. Bear in mind who was helping out with the set and who was not informed that we were missing a table until <laughs> I figured out that we were missing a table. So I was like, Ryan, where's the other table? And Ryan was like, I don't know. So we grabbed uh, this other table, there was this massive, oh. heavy table. Just move that to the side. There we go. And yeah, we carried it. We had to carry it on between the two of us because, like, it was a huge table, a huge table, a huge table, and uh, we used that instead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, sorry, Jenna. Yeah. 
Um, what was, what was my actual one I was going to talk about? High School Musical. God. No, it wasn't. It was Back to the... Back to the 80s. Back to the 80s. Is the one back to the, 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 the lockers. Basically, we had we basically stole some of the lockers from the school um, for the our school production of Back to the 80s. And there was a scene where a couple of the characters were we had to like roll these lockers on, and they're they're fucking <coughs> heavy. They're really heavy. So we rolled them on, and there was a blackout. I think this was dress run maybe. I can't remember. I think it was one of the dress runs, and um. The stage goes black, and then all we hear is a bang as people are trying to move these lockers onto the stage. And then everyone's like, wait, what? Is there, is there something happened? And then basically it turns out that the lockers had fallen, and they're heavy. So if that had fell on top of someone, like, the cart's one thing, but uh, lockers, school lockers, probably would have killed someone. Yeah. But it was a good, good but show. But she didn't. But she didn't. It was a good show, though. Back to the 80s. It's a good show. Good show. Good crack. Well, you were expecting me to say something else. Can I go first? Can I go first? Favourite underrated musical? Spider Man Turn Off the Dark. It doesn't get the love it deserves. <clears throat> People trashing it because of all the. The, the behind the scenes with actors getting injured, but no offence. There comes a point when you have to consider the fact that so many people were injured, including multiple people playing the same roles, which means maybe the stunt coordinators should have thought a little bit yeah. more about it, because yeah. it was it, it's not a bad soundtrack, but as a musical, as a stage show, oh, it oh, is... Oh, my phone's dying. Like, as a stage show, it is, it is bad because it oh, wasn't thought yeah. through well enough. No, no, it wasn't. And it also bombed. Because badly. Be I'm assuming the reason badly. why it bombed so badly, though, was because like none of the original cast were in it. The thing is, though, it's, a, it's got good songs in it. Like, I think one... My brain's Boy, fall, Boy falls from sky. Boy falls from sky. Yeah. Really good, really good song. And it gave us Reeve Carney, who is now in Hades Town. And I like Reeve Carney, but I can't really like I, I appreciate like his characterization and stuff, but I'm not a massive fan of like He's good his as Orpheus. Voice. He's really good. I think good he's alright, but like I'm just it's just his voice, it's something about it that activates my fight or flight response. Like Wow. <laughs> Controversy. Anyway, but just to mention Hades Town, Eva should have won the Tony. That's all I'm going to say about that. Be more chill should have won some Tonys. Yeah, true. Be more chill think. deserved a Tony. Be more chill deserved a Tony. <coughs> <coughs> In this household, we stand more Roland. Yeah. Um, Favourite underrated musical? I mean, can't even say Be More Chill anymore because no, it's like, not underrated. It was, it, it was when it was when I got into it though. Because, like, I first listened to it, before, like, two years before the Broadway soundtrack. Yeah. Um, when it was, like, when it had literally just gotten popular. Because, obviously, it was the soundtrack was released in 2015. And then it started getting popular on, like, Tumblr in, like, 2016. And YouTube, because people of, did, like, animations of Michael in the Bathroom and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and one of my friends really liked the musical. But I didn't know she liked the musical until after I had listened to it. Yeah. It was like one of my internet friends mentioned it and I was like, oh, I'll give it a listen. And then my other friend was like, like one of my school friends was, I, I, I referenced, I think I said something about it, like, oh, it's from Japan. And she was like, wait, are you putting Be More Chill? And that just became like a whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, s someone else has actually heard of this thing. And then like years, like years down the line now, it's gone to Broadway and it's like... So oh, it was on Broadway and it did so well and it was just it got nominated for a Tony yeah. they'd get nominated for a Tony um, okay but underrated right now what musical do you think is underrated well, this in this is, very minute I can't I don't even, dare say Tootsie I don't I'll slap I don't you. even know I don't I'll slap you know what Tootsie is I'm getting into that Broadway stands the only if you know you know 
See, the thing is, I don't know what musicals are even underrated, because I would say Beetlejuice, but I know a lot of people who do like Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. It just didn't receive, like, as much critical praise as yeah, a lot of other it. stuff recently. <coughs> Town. Um, I shamelessly, I the problem was no it's been a, the problem was it's been an amazing year for musicals. Oh, yeah, and that means apart from Tootsie, stuff like <laughs> stuff like Be More Chill has been like put to the post by like Hades Town, because Hades Town's amazing, but like it shouldn't have. It was like how Hamilton stole all the Tonys from everything else yeah. like, on its year in the Tonys because it just kind of oh crushed everything. Same with Dear Evan Hansen. I can put it out there. Hmm? Line and Thief. Oh yeah, I it guess, is but it Broadway. is going to Broadway, so I feel like it's going to get the Be More Chill treatment and become yeah. really popular. Yeah, because it, it has like its big fandom on Tumblr, the same as Dear Evan, not Dear Evan, the same as Be More Chill did. Yeah, the thing is, I think you can tell I love Greek mythology. Yeah, like Hades Town and Lightning Thief, just so good. Lightning Thief is really good. I enjoy it. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it being an entirely new cast because obviously when Be More Chill, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's entirely recast. The whole cast has changed. Yeah. Everything is different with the whole cast. Ah. Um, no, I think it's as far on. as I'm aware, the guy playing Percy staying on. The girl I swear playing the entire, staying on. I swear I got told the entire cast no. was getting changed. No, they're staying on. I know they are for definite because um, obviously Chris is just he, he he basically runs the Lightning Thief TikTok channel. Still, it's gonna be weird not having George Salazar in it first of all because mm -hmm. like he's like how I found out about it. So. Oh, man. Yeah, it's gonna be weird not seeing him in it. It's it's gonna be one that this it, it's gonna date this video definitely because like a couple of months down the line, everyone's gonna be like, oh my, oh my god, god lightning thief. thief. But yeah. Hey guys, so basically during the filming of this episode, my phone cut out, so this is actually gonna be split into two parts. So yeah, it's another like 20 more minutes of Theatre Thursdays that still needs to be uploaded after this. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, there'll be more videos coming up about what's coming up in the next few weeks slash months slash next year for me. So that's going to be cool. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. And season part three.